welcome back to my channel. This is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler, and I've had a couple of requests to do a review on the Kiwi crates. We did one, um, a blog post on the Tinker crates a little bit ago, and so I thought it'd be fun to do it in video format for you. So the premise behind the Kiwi Crates is just a monthly subscription where you can get kind of a variety of hands-on type activities. Some of them are like science experiments. The Doodle Crates are more artistic, creative kind of types of things. The Tinker Crates are really um, fun for a little bit older kids. They are building different structures. And these products are great for um, just critical thinking, logical thinking, hands-on building kind of creative processes. So I'm gonna show you what's inside this particular box and then I will link my my review of the Tinker Crate one below as well if you want to see what a box for an older student looks like. So let's take a look and see what's inside this one. All right, so the box is going to come just like this, and then it'll come with, um, you know, whatever color you have ordered. They're kind of color coordinated by age group and um, topic. So this particular one is the Kiwi Crate. They're green, and this says Arcade on the outside. So uh, just right off the bat when you open it up, they have the information, instructions on what you're going to be making. And I think this one I got for my daughter. She's in second grade. I think she is going to absolutely love this. Actually, I think her brother, who's 12, would probably really like it as well. But anyways, this one's called the Arcade. And then they all come with really pretty easy to follow instruction manuals on what you're building, what you can do with it. Um, the last one we did had actually a different variety of things you could make with the contents of the box. And so that was kind of cool. And then it also looks like it comes with... Um, instructions on how to make the little pom-poms for you to grab so if you guys have ever been to the arcade where they have that hand that comes down and grabs the toys this is what we're going to be making so that's really fun and then they also come with a fun little activity book and these are color prints so this is really fun this is like a little comic book um, and then in the back there's in, um, just activities they can do crosswords they, they kind of vary from book to book but here is what is inside of this one and that looks like uh, build your own arcade so they all kind of correlate of course but here down here is the claw machine so here's instructions on how to make it and then here's the cutouts for you that you can just color to use to make your box and I think for that one all they need is an extra box you might actually oh you can I think it looks like you can use your kiwi crate box yep so here they are making good use of the box itself, which is really fun. Recycling, upcycling. So that's cool, a little uh, mini book there. All right, and then here's the contents of the box for this one. So this is for the little pom-poms that they'll be making. Get the box out of the way. And then this actually goes along with that as well, so pipe cleaner. So everything that you need to make the product or project is in the box. Um, aside from things like scissors and things like that, if, you, if there's glue or anything needed, it usually comes in the box. So that's really nice and handy. And then here's all of the pieces to make the claw. Some more pieces. Here's the decorative stuff for coloring it. And then here's the rest of the claw. Right, so that's the entire contents of this box. Pretty much comes with everything that you need um, for this project. And one of the cool things about these boxes is it really, um, you know, I let my kids do these on their own. And like I said, they're geared towards specific ages, so you can do that. You don't necessarily have to sit there and, and walk them through it. But I really like that it promotes creativity. It also teaches them how to read and follow instructions. Um, and then also how to just put things together, just assemble things and be creative with those things. And then like I said, I'm not sure if this one does, the one my son had last time actually gave him um, a few things to make with his project so he could do a variety of activities with it. So I think this one will be really fun. Obviously since I just unboxed this we haven't made this yet but I'll make sure to put up some pictures of it as well, our finished product, and um, just so you can kind of see how it turned out. Last time we had great success with it and this one looks really easy and it also looks really fun so I think it'll be um, a lot of fun for them. So that's the contents of this box. Okay, can you kind of show us how the claw works? Okay, so what you do is there's this tube that your string goes through and it's tied to that, if you can kind of see. Mm -hmm. And then you pull the string, you can wrap it around your fingers, but it works better for me. Let's put the claw more in the frame. Okay, pull on it. So you open it and then... Oh, cool. Okay, open. then release it. And then once you release it, it shuts. 
So the rubber band kind of helps you release yeah. it. So okay. you have to like take it off and let's say it falls off, you open it, it won't close. Then it doesn't close. You, you can shake it and it work, but then you have to put your rubber band back uh, okay. for it to work. All right. All right, so do you feel like it was pretty easy to make this claw? Um, it was kind of easy. It was a little hard and kind of easy. Did you need my help at all? Only twice or something. <laughs> Just a little bit, right? You pretty much could follow the instructions on your yes. own. Okay, cool. All right, so do you like this project? Would you like to get another one of these boxes? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you would give this, the Kiwi boxes, a thumbs up? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, thank you so much for helping. What else do you think you could use this claw for? Grabbing stuff. Just anything you want. Then you don't have to bend over on the floor. Yeah, or you could use it to get some high nice stuff. Kind of right there. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. So that is our review of the Kiwi Crate boxes. Um, would you say that it was a success? Yes. Would you like to have another one of these boxes? Yeah. You had fun? It was kind of worth it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What was your favorite thing about it? Um, probably making the plushies. Those were really fun. That was fun. Did you like building this? This is kind of cool. Yeah, the cloud was fun, but the plushies are probably my favorite. The plushies were the most fun? Okay. All right. And have you played any of the games? Weren't there games in the booklet? Like crossword puzzles and stuff? Did you do any uh, of that? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Do you plan to do that? Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> Okay, all right, so I guess that's our review for the Kiwi Crate boxes. Um, it was a success. We give it a thumbs up, right? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> all right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions about their products or boxes, please make sure to send me an email. I'll put all of my information below. I'll also put links to the Kiwi Crate site below so that you can go check them out for yourself as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today, and we will see you next time.